I mentioned this one quite a while ago and it's just gonna get tossed in with my travel for cheap playlist, except if you think about it, it's not the cheapest way to travel, but it is a very cool way to travel. Whatever way you wanna look at it, you really wanna visit the Bahamas and you don't wanna fly there because of planes, so why not take a boat? It seems like it would be an absolutely amazing journey to do. What's up you guys, I'm Jacob Fisher, and today we're talking about how much it would cost to potentially boat to the Bahamas from the eastern coast of Florida. Now I can't say exactly how much it would cost for you to get to Florida, but if you want a road trip there or fly there, you probably only need to spend a couple hundred dollars to actually get there. But let's talk about the actual boating trip, so smash that like button and let's get into it. The west end of the Bahamas from West Palm Beach is a shockingly short 67 miles. That's so close. If you can cruise on a boat at 30 miles an hour, you can get there in a little bit over two hours. Obviously the sea needs to be calmer for this to happen and you shouldn't go out there if there's like eight foot swells unless you have a massive boat. If you want a shorter trip, then you could go Miami to South Bimini, which is only 54 miles. Even less, even shorter period of time, less than two hours to get there by boat. South Bimini looks a bit like this and West Bahamas looks a bit like that. Both of them absolutely stunning places and would be fantastic to go to. I'm just gonna go with the West End because it's actually a little bit bigger because it's connected to the whole island of the Bahamas. First of all, I have to stress that you're actually going to a different country, so you need to you know, use your passport and let the required officials know that you will be leaving the current country you're in and going to a different one. And then the returning country, you also need to tell them that you are back. Boats don't get good miles per gallon. That's decently well known. You'd be lucky to get two miles per gallon on a boat. A lot of times boats actually measure the fuel consumption in gallons per hour or pounds of gas per hour. It's harder to tell a mile per gallon when you're going across the ocean because there's a current going this way, a current going that way, and you just don't know exactly how much miles per gallon you're getting. You can estimate it pretty decently, but not the best. If you do get a decent sized boat though, you can have ranges of over a thousand miles on one tank of gas. Keep in mind that tanks of gases are like 500 gallons, but still. You'll need to take this journey in a decent sized boat because the little thing that you take across the bay will not be able to get across the ocean. A pontoon boat will probably sink, so you cannot rent one of them. A good fishing boat, a big one, or a cigarette boat if that's something that interest you. I found a site called clickandboat.com which is kind of like Toro. It seems like you can just rent out your boat for a certain amount of dollars a day. I found a 37 foot Boston Whaler. They don't sink you know apparently. Boston Whalers? Hmm. It's called, it's called Changes in Latitude which I, I feel like I've seen that a lot on boats. I'm just saying. It's not original. It's a whopping $1,125 per day, which honestly, I'm not sure you could get a cheaper price for a boat just because it's so expensive to rent one. And not many people are offering you the ability to rent a large size boat that you need in this scenario. I feel like I need to say you should probably have a boating license and have been or have driven in the ocean before. If you haven't done that, then wait or get a captain that can hopefully do this for you. A Boston Whaler 37 outage has a fuel tank of 425 gallons. That should be able to safely get you to and from the Bahamas for about 80 to 90 gallons there and then the same way back. Plus a little bit extra for rolling around in the Bahamas because you're there, you wanna explore. Your total gas usage is probably gonna be around 200 gallons, I would have to guess, because you are boating there, boating back, and then boating around. That'll run you about $600 for gas for the trip, bringing your day trip total cost to $1,725 for the whole day on the boat. That's not including food, but I'm sure you could do like $50 a day for food, buying at the store, the grocery store, or even going out to a few restaurants. What's option two, you ask? For those that cannot drive or do not have a license, there is a ferry called Balera ba Balleria. Caribbean that has trips from Fort Lauderdale to the Bahamas for $100 each way. I just plug random dates in and it says about $219 total to do that. If Economy and Economy Plus worked on the website, I'd tell you the difference, but they don't work on the website, so I cannot provide something like that. But wait, before you go, there's apparently a little bit of drama with this cruise liner from an airline company. The Bahamas Air Tours has a blog on their website just absolutely roasting this cruise liner for bad reviews and stuff like that, which got me thinking how much would it cost to rent one of their planes to go? Not you driving, obviously you would need a pilot, unless you have a pilot license and a plane 
So, or if, you know, you get seasick easily and want to take a plane there and don't want to take, you know, a typical jet, you could take something fun like one of these. They offer planes there for $749 a trip, just a day trip. That's actually pretty cool. And it only takes maybe half an hour to get there by plane because it's 60 miles. You get to fly in a small plane over the water and touch down really just quickly. I think that would be a lot of fun. I'll make sure to link them down below and the article actually. There's honestly so much to do in the Bahamas, snorkeling, scuba diving, hanging on the beach. I'm just not gonna go super in depth because there's, you know, I've done that in a different video before and we can estimate that snorkeling for the day is maybe $140 and it just depends on what you wanna do. Plus if you're flying, you probably shouldn't be scuba diving. So don't do that. There's also like pigs and stuff on the Bahamas which is what a lot of people go there for, or at least see when they're there. If you subscribe and maybe share this video or let me know down in the comments below, maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to set up an actual trip for this vlog style on taking these kinds of trips, which I think would be really cool to see. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.